Hello everyone, my name is Iris France, we are in room. Today we are going to talk about the budget constraint with rationing. So typically when we need to ration, that's because there is a shortage of a good. So remember that in the beginning of COVID-19, there was a shortage of sanitizer, toilet paper, facial masks, and canned food, you name it. So what happened was this, when there is a shock in demand, so demand all of a sudden increased. And we know that from principles of microeconomics, when demand increases, then um, what happens is that eventually the equilibrium price will go up. But during the COVID-19 pandemic, shops typically feel reluctant in increasing the price and adjusting the price from P1 to P2 because they are afraid of being accused of price gouging. So what they did was to try to remain the price of P1, but we know that that caused a shortage. So how can shops um, make sure that every family has their toilet paper or has their hand sanitizer if they need it? So what shops do is to ration the goods. So there are two ways of rationing. The first is that, you know what? I know that suppose you only consume two goods, toilet paper and milk. The shops will tell you if you come to buy toilet paper, the maximum number of toilet paper you can buy is X bar rows of toilet paper and I don't care how rich you are you are just not allowed to buy more than x1 bar each time you shop in my shop so how would that change our budget constraint so typically we know previously before the pandemic um, the price of milk say is p2 and the price of toilet paper is p1 and our budget constraint will just look like that intercept is m1 divided by p1 and here is M divided by P2, and that was our budget constraint. But now the shop tells you, you cannot buy more than X1 bar rows of toilet paper. So that's the maximum I can purchase. Now suppose I want to buy X1 bar rows of toilet paper, then how many gallons of milk can I buy? So you can find the kink here. So the kink will be, well, X1 bar units of toilet paper but how many gallons of milk? So my budget is in. After I purchase my toilet paper, so P1 is the price of toilet paper times X1 bar. That's the maximum I can purchase. Now, the money divided by P2, that will be the number of uh, uh, gallons of milk I can consume. So that was the king point, and that's figure 2.4 in variant. And another method is this. The shop will say, you can buy maximum X1 bar uh, rows of toilet paper at the original price P1. But if you want to buy even more, meaning if you're inconsiderate of other families, you want to stock up on, on toilet paper, that's fine. But uh, you will have to pay a much, much higher price than P1. So how much more? The new price after you buy X1 bar rows of toilet paper, you want to buy more then the price will be P1 plus T dollars for each row of toilet paper. And sometimes the T can be $100. Um, so they did that in Europe. So um, what is my king point? My king point is the same as before, but you can see that after the king point, the slope of my budget line has changed. So what is the new slope of budget line? They will be negative. Your new price of toilet paper is P1 plus T, and uh, your price of milk is still the same, P2. And where is my intercept? So we know you bought X1 bar rows of toilet paper at the original price. And after that, suppose you use all the money to buy toilet paper. Then I know I have first M minus P1 X1 bar dollars left for the more expensive toilet paper. Now that amount of money divided by the higher price P1 plus T. So that will be the extra rows of toilet paper I purchased after X1 bar. So plus X1 bar, that will be a total number of toilet paper that I purchased. So this is my budget constraint with rationing. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.